Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. Now I'm not going to make you all sit around too long waiting through my explanations and whatnot. But anyway, this is Past Ezra saying hello and welcome back to the ice venture. And there it is, I saw it. Ice was starting to freeze the place. It was getting real freaking chilly. My heat was going up a teeny bit because I had been running. When I break the ice, it didn't seem like much had happened. But that's because it doesn't give you an ice cube on every single break. How unfortunate. So, I walked into the water a little bit, and then I thought, big brain, let's just, you know, vein mine it. In fact, I've got an iron pickaxe here that would do a great job at that. By the time I had mined a bunch of it, I had 27. Now, looking at the recipe, actually, I'm not looking at the recipe because I was scared of that skeleton. Looking at the recipe, you're going to need a liquid crap ton of that. So, seems like I'm going to mine more of it and then try to find a building to hide in with hyperthermia when hypothermia gets on my ass again. So I had taken the time to grab a generous amount of ice, which would likely not be enough. Uh, and I learned that charcoal filter is how you would make a clean water canteen, which is nice. The next thing on my list was slime, because if I was ever going to go to the nether to get blaze powder, because I need blaze powder, I would either have to... You know what? Never mind. I have an idea. I have brewing stands, and I have an uncrafter. You know what a brewing stand's made with? A blaze rod. You know what you can do with a blaze rod? You can make blaze powder, which means I can go home and make blaze powder, and I might not even have to worry about going to the nether. Realizing that I didn't have to go through all the nonsense of getting ice, I drunk a delicious recall potion and teleported home. It, I was so happy, in fact, that I even drunk two of them on accident. Oh well. Here we are. So next thing I gotta do is I am going to go back to town, right? Well first I'm gonna sort all the crud in my backpack. I'm gonna get all this out of here. Then I'm gonna go into town, and once I'm in town, then I'm going to uh, debo a bunch, and I mean a bunch of brewing stands. Because, as stated prior, you stick that booger in there, and then uh, it's a good time, you know? I'm also gonna put, I'm also gonna try to discover what the spell, the new spells that I've unlocked means, and now that I got these Mancro supply, supply crate keys, you guys can witness the first Minecraft uh, Manco unboxing video. So, I'm gonna stick these two together, and I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get an unlocked Manco supply crate. I, I think that's how that works. Let's see here. Check your recipe book. And I, I clicked that, and it gave me a rescue ranger. Interesting. Then I'm going to do this one. Oh, I got a strange wrench. Heck yeah. Okay, cool. That means that I can repair stuff once I find a PDA. But until I get a PDA, can't do jack with that. And the Rescue Ranger is also for PDA type stuff. So, uh, I'm going to sort this crud. Um, we'll be back. I broke into the nearest building I found Spider-Man style and immediately started my quest for brewing stands. But there was an issue. I was thirsty and I didn't know where all these monster noises were coming from. 
But I knew there was a banshee nearby. Not sure where, but my identifier just told me it existed, so. That's no bueno. At least I had something good to deal with the zombies now. My dinner's not so bad now. It should be a breeze. Seems as if these parasite things are gonna try to climb on me. And a box with more ammo and a stormy crystal. Cool. Spiders continue to bewilder me in their movement pattern. But it seems as if I cleared this area, but I did notice a lot of these frosty maggots come out of that zombie. It's starting to get a little bit scary. They seem like they spread a lot. You can see another chest in this building connected right here though. Got a bunch of magic junk. Firebomb. Oh lord, it takes a bunch to... That explains where all the ammo was going. It takes so very much ammo to do the air blast, which, I mean, in TF2, that's correct. Makes sense. But, jeez. A lot of ammo. Is that ammo? I need ammo. No, it's block. I don't need block, I need ammo. I'm melting through my supplies here, man. I'm looking for brew and stands, just can't you give me some? I would like it, thank you. Gonna need a pickaxe. If I broke that with my hands, I would have face palmed because it wouldn't let me pick it up. Stashing me. Who dares? It's a skeleton warrior. Ow. You guys hurt. You got everything hurts. Why does everything hurt so bad? There's a lot of support creepers around here, I guess. Ow. Screw you. Ow. Oh, that explains too. There is a giant skeleton over there. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Is that, yeah, that engineer's on my team. I maybe might survive if the skeleton tries to come for me over here. Maybe I can coax him over here a little bit. Ow. Oh god, he hurts. Oh god, he hurts. He hurts a lot. Ow. Come on, engineer. Help me out here. Hey! <laughs> Thank God he's not that tough. I mean, he did a lot of damage, mind you, but... Yeah, I knew I could pick these up. Get these torches off, though. Because it's going to be a pain in the butt ever otherwise. Yeah, he just exploded into a million bits, didn't he? Huh. Ain't that something. He's sucking up all my water, too, which sucks. Now, I need to collect all the bits of you, because you can give good items, I think. Uh, I know the zombie one gives you a hammer that breaks almost instantly, but it is cool. I don't remember what you can make because of the skeleton, but I do know that I am thirsty as balls, so I am going to drink some dirty water. Let's do it. Yeah, that's right. I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. I'm doing it elegantly, though. I could just be drinking it straight from the water. Nah, nah. It's not fancy enough. I'd do it this way. Because I'm a professional idiot. I see healing over there. I'm not sure if it's my guys or the other guys, so I should be cautious. There's a spy. 
What? Uh, there were more than one spy. I got backstabbed. I got backstabbed. There was more than one spy. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. That sucks. All right, well, I'm getting... I'm going to grab my vengeful pack, I guess. But anyway... If you guys like seeing me get shot in the face and stabbed in the back by two knife-wielding spies that can insta-kill me with the power of insta, and then they make me have to walk by really slowly, uh, you know, give a like on this video. This is Past Cesar telling you I got stabbed. Have a nice day.